In this video, you will learn about the Progress Target Audio Mixer, a component that connects a progressor to an audio mixer. Let's get started. The Progress Target Audio Mixer is a component that is used by a progressor to update the value of an audio mixer exposed parameter. In layman terms, it is used to adjust the volume of your music or your sound effects or both. And you can also adjust several other things or any exposed parameter actually, but mostly this will be its main responsibility. I'm going to select a uh, example scene and I'm going to go to example scenes and I'm going to select simple app example two, because this has a uh, soundtrack. So we have some background music and I would like to be able to adjust the volume. So you can hear the music and I'm going to add in this, this setting tab, settings tab, um, a slider and we're going to use it to change the volume in our audio mixer. Where is our audio mixer? Well, it should be, yeah, this is an asset. Let's double click it. And here I can see I have a master volume, a music uh, audio mixer group. And also I have two exposed parameters for UI volume. This would be the sound effects of the UI and music volume. Yeah, now I can see that this works. All right. So we need a few things to connect a slider to this particular setting. First, we need to have an exposed parameter. I'm going to unexpose this. So I'm going to show you how to expose it because right now we have no way of interact with, interacting with it. So let's come here to our settings view because I would like to create a slider. This is what the users are used to having. So let's go to UI and let's create a slider. Let's make it a bit bigger. It doesn't have to be pretty, just uh, yeah, something like that. All right, so this is my slider. I'm gonna say the default, default value to one, so 100%, and it should go to zero, like so, yeah? All right, let's also make the handle a bit uh, bigger, something like that. Let's change its color to something like this. Yeah? And this is a bit nicer to work with. All right. Let's enter play mode and let's see it. Right now, it doesn't do anything. It's just a simple slider that any user can use. So let's enter here. It doesn't do anything. All right. All right. Now we need two things. We need a progressor and then a progress target audio mixer. So the progressor needs to update something. Let's add a progressor. I'm going to add everything on this game object because I don't really need any more but you can add them anywhere. So I'm going to do Z, um, progress, and here I'll add a progressor. And now I need a way to update this value. So I'm going to look at the slider and I, I have here on value changed. I'm going to click plus, drag and drop this here. And then I'm going to select on the progressor. I want to update the progress value. The progress value goes from zero to one, exactly my minimum and maximum value. Let's enter play mode. And you will see that now that when I will move this slider, I will update the progressor value. Check it out. See, they are now connected. Now the progressor is the one that will update this uh, progress target audio mixer. So let's create it. Add component, do Z, progress, targets, and here we select progress target audio mixer, and it's right here. In order to connect these two, I need to add a progress target. So I'm gonna click, click, click the plus sign and drag and drop this here. Right now, the slider updates this progressor and the progressor updates this progress target audio mixer but I have no target mixer set. That's why I have this uh, red thing, it's, it's in uh, error. So let's drag and drop this here. And now I'm targeting this audio mixer. Again, this will not work because I didn't expose a parameter. So if I enter play mode, let me show you also the audio mixer. 
this will not work. Let's see it here. Again, it updates the progressor, but <laughs> it, it has no parameter to, to update. So we need to expose it. I said that I want to change the music uh, volume, so I'm gonna change this, all right? How can I do it? Well, we can uh, right click here. Where is it? On the volume. And here we say expose, yeah? Mu volume of music to script. I just click that and you see an icon appear, this arrow. And if I come here, I can see expose parameters too. And here, this is the name of the parameter, my exposed param, and this is the volume of the my music audio mixer group. Let's rename it and let's say music volume. Let's also copy this. And now I have this, oh, I didn't uh, save it. Rename, all right. And now I have this exposed parameter called music volume that in turn will, uh, will change this uh, music parameter, this attenuation, yeah? The volume of the um, music audio mixer group. All right, so let's come back here to our slider. Let's also rename it to music volume slider. So I know what it is. And all I have to do is just paste music volume here. And now you will see that it will work and we will be able to change the volume um, of the music uh, audio mixer group. Let's enter play mode. I think it got reset to zero. Yeah. All right. So now, as you can see, we can change it. You may have noticed a setting, use logarithmic, logarithmic conversion. This lowers the sensitivity of the slider by using logarithmic conversion. Let's say you do not have it enabled you will see that by the time I get to 50%, you will no longer hear the music. And this is a bad user experience. Oh, we need to exit play mode, disable this. And where is it? Yeah, that's it. Let's enter play mode. So I disable this option and you will see that this will change dramatically the, the way the slider works. It's from zero. Oh, I forgot to change minimum value minus 80, maximum value zero. Yeah, we also have to respect the decibels. All right, let's enter play mode. And this will be a very interesting thing to, to see. All right, check it out. So because I do not have logarithmic conversion enabled, you will see that this will go to almost zero. Yeah, so this is a bad user experience. When we use logarithmic conversion, check it out. You can go a bit longer before it drops off. And you can even notice it here. Now, so this is the setting, this is the component, and this is what it does. Let's create, let's say for alerts, I want to have a slider. How can I do that? Let's do that as well. First, we create a slider. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna say alerts, volume, slider. Let's move it up. All right. And now let's see. All the settings are the same. <laughs> I just need to change the expose, uh, expose parameter name. Let's also use logarithmic conversion, both along. And here I need to expose this, uh, this parameter. So I'm gonna right click here. You see that it doesn't have an arrow. So right click, expose volume of alerts. I just exposed it. Let's rename it and say alerts volume. Yeah, you can write whatever you want here. This is just a name. And then I come here and I say, instead of music volume, alerts volume. There you go. And now let's enter play mode. That's it. And now I can control this as well. And you can do it for all of these. So check it out. Let's control the alerts. Let's control the music volume. And you can see it here. Now you have full control. Of course, uh, for your app or game, you should be aware that you should save these values and then upload them when the, the game restarts. 
I'm not going to show you uh, a way to, to create persistence in, uh, variables, but it should be very easy. Uh, you just get the value from the slider. From 0 to 1, you save it in your preferences, and then you on disable, you save it, on enable, you update it. It's not that hard. And this is it for the progress target audio mixer. This is how it works. And uh, that's it. It's very easy to use. You just use a slider that updates a progressor, the progress value from 0 to 1. And here we update an exposed parameter name of a target audio mixer. All right, that's it. Thank you very much.